In legal developments here at home, back last summer, a federal judge ordered New York City police to modify their so-called stop and frisk policy, which allows officers to search just about anyone they see as suspicious. Well, today, a federal appeals court blocked that order and in a surprising development, removed the lower court judge from the case. Our senior correspondent John Miller is here with us tonight. And John, why the action against the judge? Well, this is very unusual, Scott. Judges are reversed on the law by higher courts all the time, but rarely is there a repudiation uh, by a higher court of a federal judge questioning ethics. The court said that the judge actually encouraged the plaintiffs to file the lawsuit, indicated if they did so, she would be the judge on it rather than letting it go to a random system that would select a judge. And the court said, uh, made statements before, during, and after the trial that really questioned her impar impartiality in the case. What has the NYPD had to say about this development? Well, from the brass from Commissioner Kelly, they feel entirely vindicated by this ruling, saying that their practices were within the law and that this judge basically railroaded them. From the cops in the street, uh, very different. The police officers union, the PBA, said if the brass hadn't set quotas telling them how many people to stop, the department wouldn't have gotten into this trouble. So it's mixed. John, thanks very much.